Storytime with Miss Linda at the Mount Gilead Public Library. Oh, I have some books that have music with them this time. I love music and I love books. So we're going to start with this one. And it's a song. And it's if, you, if it's snowy and you know it, clap your paws. There you clap your paws. And as we go through, we're going to be clapping, we're going to be snapping. There's lots of things it tells us to do. So I'll take it slow so you can find what you need to do. And this book is by Kim Norman. If it's snowy and you know it, clap your paws. Skate around or snap a snowflake in your jaws. If it's snowy and you know it, build a friend to help you show it. Ah, they're building a snowman. Whoa. If it's snowy, ski with walrus just because. Swoosh, swoosh. If it's nippy and you're chilly, chilly, build a fort. If your island floats away, then give a snort, snort, snort. If it's nippy and you're chilly, wave a thanks with something frilly, like a frilly hanky. Share a meal with hungry neighbors, tall and short. Munch, munch. If it's slushy and you're sleepy, warm your feet. Clap, clap. Go inside and read a story for a treat. Yes, please. If it's slushy and you're sleepy, snuggle up with something sheepy. Dream of ways you'll have adventures where there's heat. Hoorah! That's a cool book. If it's snowy and you know it, clap your paws. Now, our next book's going to be about penguins. It's a story about a pe penguins. So, I wonder if you recognize this tune. Do you recognize that tune? Okay. So, we're going to put the words to it. Did you ever see a penguin? A penguin? A penguin? Did you ever see a penguin waddle this way and that? Waddle this way and that way. Waddle this way and that way. Did you ever see a penguin waddle this way and that? Okay? And then we're going to do a second verse. Did you ever see a penguin, a penguin, a penguin? Did you ever see a penguin swim this way and that? Swim this way and that way, swim this way and that way. Did you ever see a penguin swim this way and that? Are you ready to do it with me? Okay. Did you ever see a penguin waddle this 
to swim. Did you ever see a penguin, a penguin, a penguin? Did you ever see a penguin swim this way and that? Swim this way and that way, swim this way and that way. Did you ever see a penguin swim this way and that? Yes. Hope you are being penguins and swimming and penguins and swimming. Yes. Okay, so this is called Little Peng Penguins. It's by Cynthia Ryland. Hmm, little penguins. Snowflakes. He's looking out the window for the snowflakes. Many snowflakes. Winter is coming. There's his igloo. Do you see it? Yeah, it's his house. Mittens. Many mittens. Gotta put mittens on, don't you? And matching scarves. Getting ready to go outside. Socks. One for each foot. What about boots? Oh yeah, I'll put on the red ones. So how's the snow? They're outside and they're checking it out. Oh my, he's head first in the snow. It's deep. Deeper, very deep. Look how far it comes up on the penguin. Where's mama? She's on her way. Brr, let's go home. And Mama is taking her little penguins back home. In the door and off comes the boots and off comes the socks and off comes the scarves and off comes mittens and more mittens. Jammies on. Ah. And warm cookies, please. And sippies. I wonder, is that going to be hot chocolate? Oh, thank you, Mama. Wrap up tight and watch the night. Winter is here. Now, penguins live where it's very cold, don't they? So they are used to snow, a lot of snow. Now, I started with this song this morning and we did it last week. And it's, my hat goes on my head and you're pulling on your stocking cap, okay? My scarf goes around my neck my gloves or my mittens. You could say whichever one go on my hands and then my boots go on my feet. Warm clothes for when it snows, okay? Ready? My hat goes on my head. My hat goes on my head. Warm clothes for when it snows, my hat goes on my head. My scarf goes round my neck, my scarf goes round my neck. Warm clothes for when it snows, my scarf goes round my neck. Gloves, mittens, my gloves go on my hands, my gloves go on my hands. Warm clothes for Snows, my gloves go on my hands, and then we got our boots. My boots go on my feet, my boots go on my feet. Warm clothes for when it snows, my boots go on my feet. 
Now we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to do it a little bit faster. Okay. You have to stay with Miss Linda and the, and the keyboard, but we're going to do it a little bit faster. Remember it's my hat goes on my head. My scarf goes around my neck. My gloves go on my hands and my boots go on my feet. Are you ready? My hat goes on my head. My hat goes on my head. Warm clothes for when it snows. My hat goes on my head. My scarf goes round my neck. My scarf goes round my neck. Warm clothes for when it snows. My scarf goes round my neck. Are you keeping up? Okay, here we go. My gloves go on my hand. My gloves go on my hand. Warm clothes for when it snows. My gloves go on my hand. Ready? My boots go on my feet. My boots go on my feet. Warm clothes for when it snows. My boots go on my feet. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, my! our third book today is called Snowzilla. And it's a huge, huge snowman. Oh, my. It's written by Janet Lawler. Snowzilla, like Godzilla, the monster. This is Snowzilla. Okay, let's find out what happens in Snowzilla. Here we go. It snowed without stopping for week after week. When it ended at last, Cammy Lou took a peek. There's so much snow. She bundled and booted and zipped up her brother. Let's build a huge snowman unlike any other. They packed a large snowball and pushed it around. <laughs> then mom plowed the yard, dumping snow in a mound. Oh, this is going to be huge. They rolled out a middle as plump as a pig, placed a head on the top with the help of dad's rig. Look, he's having to use a big piece of equipment to get the head on this snowzilla. They scavenged for buttons, a hat and big eyes, for a nose and a mouth, and for arms the right size. Whoa. Then Cammy Lou cheered as she stood down below. We'll call you Snowzilla, our giant of snow. Look how big he is compared to Cammy Lou and her brother. Thousands of people rode buses to see the towering snowman as tall as a tree. Look at all the buses. All the people, they wanted to see the Snowzilla. But neighbors complained and a few acted wild. They organized quickly and lawsuits were filed. They don't want the snowman. Poochie is scared to go out the front door. Another said views were much better before. Look, here's all he can see is the Snowzilla's. That's it. A lady warned everyone, make no mistake, when the temperatures rise, he'll turn into a lake. A judge ruled, Snowzilla will have to come down. He's too big a threat to the peace in our town. Oh, no. Look how sad they are. They don't want Snowzilla to come down. So Cammy used email and texting and blogging to save all their efforts spent packing and slogging. She connected cousins and friends that she knew. Snowzilla's in danger. Help! What can we do? At dawn the next day, a man backed up his truck and measured Snowzilla. I think we're in luck. I think he has a plan. People brought lumber and scaffolding too. Hot chocolate and muffins as snacks for the crew. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, there's the muffins, hot chocolate. Then Cammie, her brother, and other kind folks all labored together and told snowman jokes. Have you ever heard of snowman jokes? They hoisted Snowzilla up just a few inches by using a forklift and pulleys and winches. Look, they've got scaffolding all around him. And they're doing it with this big piece of machinery. Parading down Main Street, they sh stopped near the square. Cammy Lou pointed, please set down there. The community garden was wide open space. He belonged to them all in this perfect place. Snowzilla was patted by dozens of hands while everyone sang to the town's marching bands. They found a new place for Snowzilla and everyone is happy. Weeks later, the sun became hotter and bright. Snowzilla grew smaller and flowed out of sight. Cammy Lou waved, hardly shedding a tear because she had much bigger plans for next year. I wonder what her plans are. She's drawing them there. Let's see what it shows on this page. <gasps> the Snowzillas. Oh no, she's expecting to make a lot of them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh wow, it's been so great to be with you today. So great. Let's do our song. My hat goes on my head and we're going to do it really, 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 really fast. Are you ready? My hat goes on my head. My scarf goes around my neck. My gloves go on my hands and my boots go on my feet. You ready? My hat goes on my head. My hat goes on my head. Warm clothes for when it snows. My hat goes on my head. My scarf goes around my neck. My scarf goes round my neck, warm clothes for when it snows. My scarf goes round my neck, my gloves go on my feet. Oh, gloves don't go on your feet, do they? Oh, Miss Linda messed that one up. Let's try my gloves again. They go on your hands. My gloves go on my hands, my gloves go on my hands. Warm clothes for when it snows. My gloves go on my hands, my boots go on my feet. My boots go on my feet. some snow this week. Who knows? This is Miss Linda from Mount Gilead Public Library. Until next week when we have more stories and more songs, have a great week. Give me a big smile. Yes. Bye.